studying in Shishya Bemel Public School. Now I'm going to create a talk to, talk to me application using Code to Play. Let me tell you how exactly this application works. There's a text box in which you can type anything you want and a button if once clicked whatever you have typed in it is read aloud. Isn't this exciting? Now let's get started on building this app. Now open Google Chrome on the device you're using to code and type code to play and click on enter. Now select the first option which comes and click on sign in with Google and select start a new project and give a project name. I'm going to type my project's name as talk to me and remember we cannot use spaces so instead I'm going to use this talk to me and click on OK and now select on the name which you have entered this comes there are, remember here there are two interfaces designer and blocks first we are going to complete the designer interface in the designer interface there are five sections palette viewer components properties and media i'm going to drag and drop options from the palette to the viewer text box which allows the users to write in it type in it button and i go to media and drag and drop the text to speech component which converts the text entered to speech now i'm going to center the text box and the button so i go to screen one and press align horizontal i press on center three which centers them and i change the name of the button so I click on button 1 in the components and change the name from text for button 1 to speak. It's, it isn't enough to change only that. You even have to rename it in the components. So I click on rename and type speak and click on OK. Now it's done. And then I go to the text box one in the components and in the hint section instead of hint for text box one I type type here for the users to know that they have to type it there here you go our designer part is complete you may even add some extra looks like you go to screen one component and then press on background image here you can upload a file from your library and make your screen even more colorful. Now let's go to our block section. In coding, an event is when something happens that triggers a, the code to run. So now we will need an event handler to start the code. So let's go to speak and get drag and drop when speak dot click do. This then we go to text to speech and drag and drop call text to speech dot speak message. So when the speak button is clicked, it the what it will do is call text to speech and speak the message. Go to text box and drag and drop text box dot text. It will speak the message which is in the text box. Now our blocks part is complete. The coding is complete. Now there's one final step to do. Go to the go to the option build and press APK provide QR code for dot APK. What you need to do is download an MIT app inventor in your Android phones, which means Play Store. You will download it from Play Store. It doesn't come in app app stores. So download the Play Store app. We're waiting for it to install. See, over here there's a link and a barcode. You may either scan the barcode or enter the link. MIT app inventor. I'm going to scan the QR code instead of entering the link. Here you go.
we need to press install and press install anyway we're waiting for it to install now click on open here you go we can test it type hello i am abhiram speak hello i am abhiram see that it worked so that's all for today thank you